Hey guys, this is JJ with Express Workshops. This week we're going to do a modified sepia effect inside of Photoshop. All right, this is gonna be a very quick tutorial this week. Um, I use this technique if I've got, well, for instance, like I just shot this portrait of this uh, senior girl for uh, her senior portraits. And I want to be able to show my client uh, maybe a couple different looks, you know, the way that uh, this photo looks in color and then maybe one that's a little more antique looking. So um, this is a technique that I do very quickly. It's more for proof. And then if they approve it, then I'll go in and refine it. But I just want to kind of have an antique or sepia kind of look. And this is how I do it. Um, very quickly, I just go to my adjustments and I choose a hue saturation uh, adjustment layer. All right, under the presets, you can go to the default area here where it says default and pick sepia. All right, now that's kind of a cliched kind of a, a sepia look and it would work, but you know, that's, that's, you know, hey, we're professionals here, right? So let's do something a little different. Um, I want to go to that hue saturation uh, layer and I'm going to double click over here. Now notice where I'm clicking. I'm not clicking on the name or not clicking on the layer mask or this um, actual little area that will bring up the uh, sliders and everything. I'm going to go over here on the very edge and I'm going to double click. And as you can see, that brings up this dialog box. I'll bring it up so you can see it. And this is my blend if area right here. And that's what I'm going to be interested in. And very quickly, um, you might want to refer back to a video that I did on blend if, but basically we're going to work on this slider here, this layer. And all I want to do is be able to maybe knock out a little of this sepia and bring some of the color back in, kind of give it an antique look, like I said, instead of just a straight sepia. So what I have to do is on this little slider here, this will actually break into two if I hold Alt on my keyboard click on one side and then just pull that side to the right. And as you can see, some of the color starts to seep back in. Now, if I go all the way over, then it's just a little, kind of like a tinted photo, but I want a little more than a tinted photo. So I'm gonna go right about there. And then I'm gonna say, okay. So as you can see, it gives me just a kind of antique look is the best way I can describe it, rather than going full sepia. And I'll show you what that looks like before and after. I'll turn this little eyeball off. There's before, and there's after. So it'll just give your client a little different look and something to do very quickly. You don't have to spend a lot of time uh, making this effect. Okay, so that's a quick tutorial for this week. And uh, like I said, every week, please subscribe to my videos, hit the like button below and I will see you next week with a new video. Thanks a lot.